Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and as promised, I'm going to do a review of Doom VFR in this video. Now, I am going to touch upon the game's controls in this video, um, but if you want to know in a little more detail how the game controls with the PSVR aim controller, the PlayStation Moves, or the DualShock 4, I did do a standalone video showing off all of the control options, and I'll link that up in the description, and I'll also use a card so you can get to that quickly if you want it. Other than that, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined we have lots of psvr and ps4 content elsewhere on the channel so it's well worth following us and keeping up to date with all that we post so with that said let's get into the review Okay, so Bethesda really are the good guys this Christmas, aren't they? Like, after coveting controversy last year with its controversial review code policy, uh, the publishers really recaptured the adoration of gamers this holiday um, by supporting fledgling new formats like the Nintendo Switch and, of course, PlayStation VR. And following on from last month's transformative virtual reality adaptation of Skyrim, it's last year's Doom reboot that the company's got in its crosshairs this time. But I guess the question is, can the frenetic first-person shooter land the transition? Well, Doom VFR really, really tries. Um, unlike the Elder Scrolls adaptation, id Software's opted to recycle locations from its 2016 title and kind of build a new story around them. Essentially, you play as a kind of scientist who actually dies right at the start of the game, um, and he leverages some kind of clever coding to stay alive as a kind of artificial intelligence or something. At the end of the day, this is still Doom, so the plot doesn't matter much at all, um, but the setup does provide some narrative justification for the title's teleportation system. So yes, teleportation, perhaps the most divisive mechanic in virtual reality right now. Um, while you're only forced to use this method of navigation with the PlayStation Move controllers, um, it's still an important game mechanic on either the DualShock 4 or the PSVR aim controller, as it kind of works by replacing the glory kills from the main game. Um, essentially, upon staggering your demonic adversaries, you can kind of teleport into them to finish the job, and I actually think that this is a neat idea as it maintains the franchise's frantic pace without prompting you to puke. Of course, don't worry because you can also move with the left stick if you're using a controller that actually has one, um, and rotation options include kind of smooth turning and those customizable increments that you'll have seen in other PSVR games before. As alluded, the PlayStation Move ones offer none of these controls, um, and the game kind of encourages you to pivot on the spot like in, say, Superhot VR, and then rely on teleportation to get about. To me, it felt extremely limiting when you're playing with the motion controllers, and while there is a dash system which helps with your mobility, it just doesn't feel quite right. But to be honest, none of Sony's accessories fit the experience as tightly as they should. I mean, if you take the PSVR aim controller for example, like it's great being able to hold the gun and aim with it, um, but Doom VFR's gameplay is designed around you holding a gun in a single hand, um, while Sony's plastic firearm demands kind of two appendages. Uh, so as such, you're stuck with a grenade just kind of floating around in your peripheral vision, and like Later on in the campaign, a grenade launcher instead, it, it just doesn't feel good at all, it's not great. So what of the DualShock 4 then? Well, you get all of the control options of the PSVR aim controller, um, but targeting is instead mapped to head tracking. Uh, this works absolutely fine, but it means that both of your weapons are locked to the centre of the screen, um, following your vision around like they're protruding out of your neck or something. The thing is, the game is fully playable with whichever controller you choose, but I'd be lying if I said I felt truly comfortable with any of them. 
And that's honestly a shame because Doom in virtual reality is just about as mental as you'd expect it to be. The sense of scale isn't quite as grand as other games, although coming face to face with Cacodemons is pretty bloody cool, but instead the title impresses through its thrilling sci-fi setting. It just looks so, so pretty with PlayStation VR, um, as like broken computer terminals fizz and illuminate the enormous firearms that you're rolling around in your hands. And the gameplay is also stellar too, like obviously. Despite the transition to virtual reality, this is the same destructive gunplay that you'll remember from last year's campaign, with superb weaponry and awesome alternative fire options. The teleportation glory kills feel good with PlayStation VR, and they help to maintain the intense sense of speed of the series without going too over the top. It is quite an overwhelming experience at times, but I was able to play comfortable in two hour sessions. But unfortunately, it'll only take you a couple of these sittings to actually beat the game as it is rather short. To be fair to Bethesda, it's priced the package accordingly, and multiple difficulty tiers as well as an array of collectibles at least give you a reason to run through it twice. Um, there are also classic maps that you'll unlock which allow you to experience retro levels inside Sony's futuristic face mask. So ultimately Bethesda's really tried to make Doom work in virtual reality, but despite supporting all three of PlayStation VR's control options, it doesn't really feel like the title was designed with any of them in mind. That said, if you can ignore the flaws with whichever peripheral you choose, then the over-the-top action of id Software's series translates well, and this is arguably one of the better looking virtual reality titles to date. It's a little on the short side, but the price point reflects that and the gunplay is still as intense as it's ever been. But let me know what you think of Doom VFR in the comment section below. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined. And as always, thank you so much for watching.